everyone welcome to a new video and in today's video we are going to start with another question that is question 16 it came as a four marker in math kangaroo 2024 exam okay so let's get started with our today's question a kangaroo jumps up a mountain and then jumps back down along the same route it covers three times the distance with each downhill jump as it does with each uphill jump this line is really very important so for example if the kangaroo is making one jump going up right that is one jump going up so if he is coming down he will cover three times the distance okay so that means if we are coming down the kangaroo is going to take less number of jumps right as compared to going up correct now it covers one meter per jump. In total, the kangaroo makes 2024 jumps. What is the total distance in meters in the that the kangaroo jumps? Okay, so we need to find out the distance basically, right? So if we are able to find out the distance of uphill or maybe downhill, any one path, right? We can easily double it to find out total distance, right? So the thing is, this line is very important i told you that it takes three times the distance so from here we can make a ratio correct if going up it is taking one jump right it is covering only one part that means coming down it will take three right it will cover three distance so this is the ratio correct one jump going up is equivalent to three jumps coming down right so from here can we say in total we are getting four parts right in the ratio form in total we are getting four parts so what we can say is the total number of jumps will also be three times going uphill as compared to downhill right going uphill it will take more jumps that is three times the jumps coming down right with each downhill jump so from here only what we can say is three fourth of 2024 is going to be the number of jumps kangaroo is making going uphill jumps right because it is taking three times a lot of jumps so let's see what is three fourth of 2024 so from here we know four times one is four four times 506 is 2024 correct now we are left with 3 times 506 that will give you the answer as 1518 jumps. So these are the total number of jumps kangaroo is going to make going uphill. That means downhill jumps are going to be 2024 minus 1018. That will give you the answer as 506. Okay. And you can check as well after this video that 506 times 3 is actually 1580. So the statement is true, right? So it will take 3 times as many jumps going uphill as compared to downhill. Okay. I hope so far it is clear. Now, we know that with each uphill jump, it is covering 1 meter. Correct? 1 meter with each uphill jump. So, in total, we have made 1,518 jumps. That is going to be 1,518 meters only. Right? Because any number times it with 1 is going to be the same number. Correct? 
So if going uphill, it is taking 1,518 meters, the distance remains the same. So coming downhill as well, it will take 1,518 meters. Correct. So to find out total distance, what we can do is we can find out the twice of it. That is going to be uh, 2 times 8 is 16. So 6 here, 1 carry over. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 times 5 is 10. So 0 here, 1 carry over. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3. So 3036. That is option D. Okay. So in short, if I summarize this, what we did is we know that kangaroo covers three times the distance with each downhill jump as it covers with each uphill jump. Correct. So that means it will take three times as many jumps going uphill as it covers going downhill. Right. Now, already in the question, it has been provided to us. In total, there are 2,024 jumps that the kangaroo made. Out of which we know that 3 fourth is going to be the total uphill jumps. That is 500 and 1,518. Correct. Now, each uphill jump covers 1 meter. So 1,518 jumps will cover 1,518 meters only. Correct? Now that is the distance kangaroo covered going uphill. So the distance of any route remains the same. Going downhill, it is going to be the same. So we can just find out the double of it. So the double of 1,518 will be 3,036. That is option D. I hope it, it is clear. In case of any doubts or questions, you can let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to join our WhatsApp community for daily updates and resources. I will be meeting you soon in another video. Till then, keep learning.